my YouTube channel. This is the Jordan Report, and I'm your host, Robert Jordan. Everyone, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, guys, I'd never, ever thought that I would have to come to the defense of the police. But in these are very, very strange times, and that's what I find myself doing. I am surprised most police departments are not doing what the Rochester Police Department just did. They all just quit, at least the command did. They just simply walked off. They said, we're, we're done. I'm going to go through this uh, article really fast, and I'm going to show you the uh, mayor's meeting with their local city council telling them that they just lost the entire staff of their police department. Entire command staff of Rochester Police Department resigns after backlash. They've had enough. I'm just going to read you the chief statement, then I'm going to show you the clip. In a statement to WRC, Police Chief LaRon Singletary wrote, for the past two decades, I have served this community with honor, pride, and the highest integrity. And here he is right here. I didn't know the police chief was black. I just, just found that out. The event, as a man of integrity, I would, have, I would not sit idly by while outside entities attempt to destroy my character. The events over the past week are an attempt to destroy my character and integrity. The members of the Rochester Police Department and the greater Rochester community know my reputation and know what I stand for. The mischaracterization mis and the politicization of the actions that I took after being informed of Mr. Prue's death is not based on facts and is not what I stand for. They accused him, the mayor herself, accused him of covering up information. The deputy chief, Joseph Morbido, announced in a separate statement, this is his entire staff that's going with him, it's been my extreme honor to serve with and lead the most dedicated law enforcement professionals in the country. Okay, now I'm going to show you the local, their, their, their uh, local city council meeting where she's informing her local city council that they no longer have a command staff over their police department. And his integrity and his, um, you know, has been challenged. Um, he has dedicated 20 years to the city and to the citizens of Rochester and um, feels that, um, you know, the events that have happened, you know, that, that the events that have happened were not um, done in a way that, um, you know, could have been handled differently. But, um, you know, he didn't in any way try to cover this up. He will be joining this call, he said, um, but uh, I just wanted to be upfront with council, I will answer whatever questions that I can. But at this point in time, um, the the chief has um, submitted his retirement papers, as well as others. And so I don't know what details that I can give you about the protest last night. Um, you know, but I'll answer whatever questions you may have. First question is, what is the effective date of the retirement for those who are retiring? I have not seen that. I just got a call before this call um, that informed me that he was retiring and the others would be retiring as well. But he did say that he was planning on joining this call. I'm not sure if he's in the, the room or not, in the waiting room. Not, I don't, is he, did you? It's not. Okay. So the other question would be, and I don't know what the, the format would have to be for that discussion, is what is the, um, what, what is the path forward for police oversight? If the command staff is retiring, what, what's next? So How does the um, department if, it, run? That, if that retirement is effective immediately, then um, we will have to find an interim chief and whoever that interim chief would be would step up to actually um, lead the department during this time. Um, I do know that it's, it's going to be difficult to do that. Okay, so we, uh, so the key question right now is when the date, when, the, when it is effective, when is it effective and even not that notwithstanding, I'm sure that efforts will begin immediately to identify um, interim measures to uh, fill that void. Um, yes, and again, I just, um, that's why I was late to the call. Uh, you know, I was just being informed 
And I would recommend, because I don't know, I know that this was to brief you on the operations of last night, and I do not have that information. I would request that council either delay this um, hearing until tomorrow while we try to deal with um, this uh, situation that we're facing right now. Okay, fair enough. And also with the questions that we sent over previously, were there responses provided for that or were you gonna have that today? I had sent that over to the police department and was waiting for them to answer. I have not seen a response yet. Um, and so I will have to look at that. Okay, all right. All right, thank you. So we will, we will adjourn this meeting until tomorrow and hopefully we will have um, more details about our, the state of the department and the path forward at that time. President Scott, can I, can I just ask one question before we adjourn? Yes. Uh, Mayor, thank you for, uh, for letting us know, and I think rescheduling makes a lot of sense, but I, I think we all probably expect that um, the protests are probably going to continue. So I wonder, um, I wonder who, who is actually going to be in charge tonight, assuming that the, res that the retirements are effective immediately. As I just told the council president, we would have to find an interim chief and at this point in time, because I just got the call before this hearing, I don't know. So I'm asking that this hearing be adjourned um, so that we can find an interim chief to lead this department um, through this time. Because as I understand from the call, the entire command staff decided to retire. And just for the record, Madam President, um uh thank you um mayor just for just, just to just to um correct you for a second this was a briefing not a hearing just just, okay. for, just for the record okay briefing will be right. right okay guys she chased away her police command she's up to her neck in all these protests and they decided they weren't gonna play so they left her hanging